Hello civil engineers, I welcome you all once again to this webinar series on civil engineering excellence. Mobilization advance and secured advance are a part of any big construction work. What is mobilization advance and where it is needed, what is secured advance, where it is applicable. इसी के बारे में दोस्तों बात करेंगे हम आज के वीडियो में When a contract for a big work is awarded to an agency, so for mobilization of site, he requires a lot of money, huge amount of money is required. So government has made a provision that some amount, maximum up to 10% of the tendered value can be given to the agency on his request as a mobilization advance to mobilize the site because initially he has to procure so many things, he has to purchase a lot of material. Now how do the, how we go about this, mobilization advance is released in two installment, first 5% is released, then second 5% will be released only after proper successful, I mean utilization of the first 5% to the satisfaction of the client and it is always given to the agency against the bank guarantee, a suitable bank guarantee from a scheduled bank and that too to the tune of 110% of the value of the advance because government wants to ensure tomorrow suppose contractor is not able to mobilize or something he backs out or something where from this money will come so this is against the to protect the government interest so this is all about how the mobilization advance is given and then interest free and interest with interest as per the provisions of the contract that you have to see in that normally interest of 10% simple interest is levied till the time the mobilization advance is recovered and if there are some particular client, some particular department uh, may give it uh, interest free also depending on the uh, conditions of the contract. So this is all about the mobilization advance. Now next comes is the uh, secured advance. So secured advance is given on material. Say when contractor is mobilized the site, he has procured lot of materials say steel, cement, stone aggregate then uh, other items, tiles, so many items he will procure. But unless and until these items are incorporated in the work and you pay the item, till that time he will not get any money out of it. So there is a provision in the contract. I think these all provisions are covered under class 10. So secured advance to the tune of 75% of the material value as per market or the component of material in the quoted rate which he has quoted for this particular item you have to see both the rates and lowest of the two jo bhi value up ki aayegi us rate se aap usko secured advance on material de sakte hain that against and that is given on the non perishable non fragile items non combustible items wo ek de sakte hain this is one category another category of item there are certain items is a cement for example it is not a non perishable item cement is a perishable item but government has approved the provisions you can pay a secured advance on cement also against the suitable insurance against theft against burglary against fire so that you can give say for example paint other things which are combustible in nature but if it is properly uh, kept at site in a sealed go down properly protected so those items also in the opinion of the client if he, he feels he has an advance can be given so against that perishable items also to some extent uh, advance can be given. There is a list, CPWD manual, there is a list given on which item you can provide the uh, secured advance, on which item you cannot provide the secured items. So if you have a contract mein waisa provision hai, and if contractor is demanding that I should be paid a secured advance, you can always pay the secured advance. Now how do we recover it? Say for example, you have 1000 cubic meter stone aggregate pe advance diya hua hai, and work is proceeding. So a particular bill may, suppose out of 1000, 500 uh, uh, cubic meter exigate is consumed. So you can minus 500 plus add for the new arrival set site. Some material uh, might have come again. So suppose 250 cubic meter again has come. So first you minus uh, 500, so remains is uh, 500 plus 250. So next, outstanding advance for the next bill will be uh, 750 cubic meter. This is just one example I am giving. Like that all material you can club together and then at the end you can make a total secured advance. So this is, this is reflected in memorandum of payment and he is getting the advance payment on that. 
एंड वन मोर थिंग इज देयर सेक्योर एडवांस इज ऑलवेज कंसिडर्ड एज वर्क डन तो आपके लिए भी फंड्स को यूटिलाइज करने के लिए भी एक अच्छा तरीका मिलता है उतना काम आपका ऑलरेडी हो जाता है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द मोबिलाइजेशन एडवांस एंड सेक्योर एडवांस नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम लोग बात करेंगे एस्केलेशन पेमेंट के बारे में थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू